From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Electricity management company Schneider Electrics Academy is linked to its global community of practice and provides training on new energy and electricity management technologies. Skulkberger has a story. The Schneider Electric Academy in Midrand in Gauteng provides training on electricity management equipment, from legacy equipment to modern programmable systems and digital interfaces for clients, contractors, technicians and partners. The Academy provides training on smart energy management systems and practices, such as building energy management systems and energy efficiency practices. The Academy also provides digital competency training to support digital connected systems that will become integral parts of energy systems as the fourth industrial revolution proceeds. Schneider Electric South Africa Head of Sustainability and Academy, Zanel Dalglish, tells us more. There's a great need to understand technology in the field of energy. So Schneider Electric started the Academy originally with a small training offer only, looking at industry-specific training requirements and also to ensure that people understand the technologies better. Since then, we've actually grown into a great big facility here based at Schneider Electric in Midrand, and we currently train more than a thousand people per year in these facilities in face-to-face -face courses. So our offer has broadened quite a lot. We cover many different um, courses, more than 50 in fact, really in the field of energy, and we, we invite different customers in here. We have end users, we have contractors, um, we have got consultants, professional engineers, even electricians training. And then to top it all off, we also do training for teachers from education centres and we even welcome graduates into the centre. We really are looking at training for industry requirements. So we are very flexible in that we do training needs analysis with our customers and ensure that we can customise the training where required to train for the specific skills gap that might be there or for the requirement you know, that the specific delegates might have to understand specific concepts in the field of energy. So um, if you look at the fourth industrial revolution, if you look at IoT and you know, the evolution of energy currently in the market, it's really important for the Schneider Electric Academy to keep up to these developments. So we actually look at different curriculums that we can put in place um, to follow the eco-structure philosophy of Schneider Electric, which is really our concept in terms of how we convert fourth industrial revolution into the energy space. And so we look at different segments within the field of energy in which we work in, as well as the different domains that we work in, and we customise our training to ensure that it looks at different components. Um, at Schneider Electric we speak about connected products, edge control, as well as apps analytics and services in terms of the three levels of our eco-structure philosophy, and so our training covers all of those. Not only do we train in terms of specific product, which is the connected product that we talk about, but also we train a lot around the interface with software and also the analytics that we can do in the cloud space. To make sure that in the field of energy, everybody understands the different technology that's available, also with a bit more of a futuristic approach to be sure that we are training future skills requirements today already. The Schneider Electric Academy, based in South Africa, services the Anglophone cluster, which is English-speaking Africa. And we are very privileged that we form part of a community of practice of Schneider Electric Academies across the globe. So what this really means is that we have access to the greatest technology that's out, the latest and greatest technology that comes out, and also to training courses that are developed in other parts of the world that might be uh, slightly ahead of what we generally would have been in South Africa if we were not part of this community. There's really nice kind of technology like uh, virtual reality and haptics um, and really exciting stuff that we receive from this global community which enables us really to service the South African and specifically the Anglophone African market with the newest technology and also just reinventing the way in which we train. Many of the delegates that we receive train face to face, but there's also other requirements. So the digital education that we are advancing in, all of that forms part of the global program. Other news making headlines, Cecil pulls back on CapEx as it seeks to deleverage from peak gearing. Energy and Chemicals Group Sasol has indicated that its capital expenditure will continue to taper during its 2020 and 2021 financial years, as the group seeks to deleverage a balance sheet that reached peak gearing of close to 65% in the six months to December 31st, 2019. 
we have achieved the peak gearing phase of the company and will now start with a transitory phase of deleveraging the balance sheet as the construction phase of the LCCP comes to an end and the commensurate cash flows starts to positively impacting the EBITDAs and ultimately flowing through to the balance sheet. This will, however, be a very gradual process. The capital expenditure forecast for the year is 38 billion rand, which very much aligned to the capital forecast that we previously presented to the market, and it really ensures that we still keep on spending the sufficient sustenance capital as well as spending the capital to complete the LCCP. That's Klima Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.